hey guys it is me phoenix we are going to do a general read to see if your energy is please do me a favor like share subscribe hit the bell notification to be notified when i post a new video remember red hearts if you made it through purple hearts if it resonates green hearts if you're working on it yellow hearts if you rock with me got my six i mean have my back because i have yours and there you have it there are some type of intense things going on and it says rekindling so Maybe you guys are rekindling an intense you and your person or you and some situationship is re, are rekindling uh, a relationship that you at one point let go. Hmm. Or the intense, re, the intense relationship that you tried to rekindle is time to let go. I don't know. Take what resonates. Honor is here. Maybe you need to honor yourself. It says honor your loved one and you will notice your relationship becomes stronger. So maybe in the process of rekindling this relationship, it was very intense and you had to let go, either letting go of the past, moving forward. Um, rekindling says every relationship has magical moments that can be rekindled. So this is something that you probably contemplated doing. But at some point, it says sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe work things out in divine timing. So it's very intense and maybe it was because you came back and tried to rekindle things, but... It didn't work out, so it's telling you to honor. Honor your loved one, and you will notice the relationship becomes stronger, or maybe you need to let go of some situation when it comes to this relationship. Before I pull these, no, I'm going to pull this. Oh, reconcile is at the bottom of the deck, and new love. Ooh, Ooh it's getting juicy. Um, I was going to say before I pull these, I was going to pull tarot to, ver to verify, to clarify what these are, but let me go ahead and just pull these. Since I already stopped, uh, started this, this is from um, the Spirit Shield Oracle deck uh, by Cancer Baby Tarot. Um, yeah, and this is her Oracle deck. Yeah, I got it on my desk now. Peace, yeah. All you want is peace in a situation. And so, therefore, um, when it came to the intense, intenseness of it, you had to really think about it. Yeah, so, in, yeah, metal, electronic, new phone, computer, peace, healing, inner child wounds. Ascension, yoga, meditation, starting spiritual journey, um, spiritual gifts, grounding, higher education. So, yeah, um, did you see that move? I've moved this before I started recording. And so I really want my stuff to show. I like this card deck. I just can't find it anymore. No I don't know what I did with it. But, uh, yeah, there you have it. Um, I, I believe that when it comes to, you know, you trying to rekindle things, that's what keeps happening. But when it comes to you you trying to rekindle things, you have to look at the odds of them. What what are, are the odds ever in your favor? Home, um, honoring yourself, your home. Hold on, I'm about to sneeze. Okay, sorry about that. But, yeah, so um, I just believe that when it came to the home and the energies of it says, oh, I didn't read intensity. The intensity of a true soul connection includes great highs and lows. So, you know, there was twin flame type energy that was here. But you have to understand and honor your home. You have to honor your peace, your spiritual, the, even even when it comes to things that are damaging that, uh, you know, it says protected devices. This could be in regards to what you're watching on TV. It could be something as, as simple as that. But it could have been somebody giving you bad advice leaving le telling you to leave certain situations alone um or steering you in the wrong direction it says but here's the thing somebody that was two-faced or whatever and didn't want to see you happy and you knew that there were things in this connection that could it, that may have the potential but you know sometimes potential isn't enough sometimes the universe tells you to let go and protect your peace and if it's meant the intense connection will be able to have some type of um revisiting and so this could be you know, why you had to look at things in a different light, if that makes sense. I'm going to pull from the Island Time Wellness, uh, what is this called? Oh, the Love Oracle, to see what comes out. But, yeah, I just believe that, you know, at some point, maybe time, maybe in the fall, maybe that was a time that, you know, this happened. You went back uh, to a person. That's cuddle weather, weather right? <laughs> or maybe it could be this fall, you know, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But, yeah, seduction, you know, this card tried to come turn over sideways, cool with whatever. So you're not cool with whatever. That's why it was sideways. But the ascension, it could have been the intense could be sexual. It could be sexual, could be, you know, uh, 
when it comes to what a catch. Yeah, this person, again, somebody who really caught your eye, who, you know, twin flame type energy and at the, yeah, proposal. So maybe it is going to be a rekindling. It says get proposed to surprise gift, something that is proposed, things moving into the next level. So this could be where you had to let go, let it go, let it flow, and also realize the intention and just pay and just to reflect back on what was really causing you to have issues in the situation, to begin the situation in the first place, or to walk away from the situation, or to learn to let go of things that have happened in the past because of the strong connection that you had with the person. Does that make sense? And so that is where you had to, what you had to go through and deal with when it came to this. I'm going to clarify intense. I'm going to clarify rekindling and let go. Um, but there is some type of proposal. And again, um, matters of the home. You had to protect your peace. I thought a card turned over, but maybe it didn't. But um, there was some type of proposal that is going to happen or is going to happen. And maybe it'll be in the fall. Maybe the time apart. Or maybe if you have visited that, yeah, when it comes to the four of wands. Uh, yeah, the intense connection is realizing that you guys are great together. You have to figure out what it is. I, I listened to something on Instagram. It was, oh, I, I listened to it. It was on um, the guy who, who uh, is the fixer. I can't think of his name, but um, uh, I looked at it, and I think I screenshotted it. I'm going to read it to you, but um, let me see if I can find it. Uh, it was basically about, hold on, it was about chasing uh Chase him. It says the the life of a race car driver. Hold on, let me read it to you. Um, it says, it says, let's start at the end, or rather, a new beginning. Yeah, I like that better. That mindset allows us both to have a perfect balance of light and dark. Always, uh, wait, sorry, always, always a struggle in order for your your and my relationship to work, we're both requiring maximum transparency. It says, I'll bear my soul, but only if you do the same. And it says, and how will I know if you do or not? You will know at the end of this story, for it's really about both of us. So is it the driver and the car? But this could be looked at in any perspective. It could be in business. It could be in um, it could be in life, it could be in relationships, it could be in trusting, and it could be not knowing where the end is going to be, but it can be realizing that it takes two to tango. That's kind of how I've seen it, because a car can't be driven without the race car driver, but the race car driver has to um, trust the car, and the car has to be able to allow the race, you know what I mean? I'm not, you know, like the car can't think, but you, you know, it, it comes with trust and knowing and trusting the car that it can go the maximum speed, but that is in any relationship, you know what I mean? And so rekindling, is it something that we can work out when it comes to a source, motivated beginning? So to rekindle, to have a new beginning, but to also realize what you guys were in the past and what could happen or what the potential you saw in the beginning and also where the where you got off kilter. You realize this person was a catch. You were down for whatever, but you're you're unsure about this now. But the seduction and the intensity that you guys had in the relationship is why, you know, you could have got bad advice from somebody that was meddling or not wanting to see you happy. Or this person could have got bad advice in the way that they were raised, you know, because this could be why there's a husband, uh, there's a man holding a child. Um, it could be something that it was learned. But the four of wands is grateful togetherness because if it was in the reverse, it was said it says alone in a crowd. So um, this could be what you've learned from being separated. So letting go, let's go. Oh, letting go comes with, yep, building a foundation and hidden deceit. Yes, you have to let go of building uh, of the hidden deceit in order to build a foundation with anyone or even with yourself. So bottom of the deck is eight of swords. Yeah, self doubt. So the proposal is coming um whether from remember the other card said a new person or you know the thing is it's coming but you have to get out of that self-doubt because if you get proposed to in the fall and you're not mentally physically or spiritually ready you know um healing inner child oh i didn't even i forgot about that it says inner child uh healing inner child shadow work closure surrender to the divine and ending cycles and then also a meddler, somebody giving you bad advice or learning from 
childhood wounds, I didn't even put those two and two together. Um, but at some point you were cool with whatever until you weren't and you realize that this person has always been a catch and will always be a catch and that the attraction and the intensity of this situation of your uh, connection is real enough to where you're able to to rekindle and to let go of the past in order to build a foundation through a pentacles energy to work together you know this is books here a little girl stepping up with the book so it takes for you to meditate to have some type of go on a spiritual journey and with that being said we're gonna pull from my spiritual journey deck um not mines but uh light worker tarot and oracles spiritual journey deck because again it causes you know when your home is being shaken up and you have self-doubt and also you're not honoring yourself but or the relationship or each other then it causes steps and levels so the ascension starts from the beginning you have to start over right so even though it's intense you are not sure if you're going to rekindle but you have to let go either the energy or you have to let go of the relationship period at, at a whole and then you have to you know go on a spiritual journey to heal inner you and to pray whatever however you want to do it and realize that electric elect, elect, electronics you going on social media you comparing things could give you bad advice or it could make or it could be people you know showing you stuff from social media or you having connections with people that are meddling and don't want to see you happy so in the fall maybe you made a decision to 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 really realize is this just a sexual thing is it that i was cool with whatever i didn't set any boundaries and that this person was a catch they knew that but a lot of this stuff caused you to overthink unsure energy of the spiritual journey healing light it says imagine yourself surrounding by an am, uh, uh, amber light um if, hold on. enveloping enveloping i don't know how to say that you in love compassion and protection let all unwanted thoughts and circumstances melt away see and that's what i mean right here by let letting go you know you why do i can't envelope enveloping no envelope. i don't know I, i'm that's gonna drive me crazy i gotta listen to how to say sound that out but imagine you are you know looking at things and leaving learning to let everything go but and that's going to cause you growth but you're being unsure on what to do and how to do it so again the the energy spend time in nature yeah so the energy that's around you is not the right energy or that this person has been through in order for a new life. Yeah, exactly. So the it's like spend time alone, spend time in nature. So now you're letting go of every type of connection and you're on a spiritual journey. You're walking in the park, you're walking in the dirt, you're, you're doing all this stuff alone, you're setting a higher standard for yourself, you're improving your house, you're cleaning up, getting decluttered, you're going after your dreams and you're liberating yourself. And breaking the cycles of what it is it says break the chains of addiction restriction other imp 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 impediments impediments it says it begins with freedom of choice so you have to be able to choose what's best for you does that make sense you have to be able to choose what's best for you and with that being said let's ask ourselves a question this is your ask yourself that to see what's going on because again you know four cups yeah the four cups is reaching a plateau. It's like bored. I'm done with being mundane. You know, it says what offer or opportunity is being presented to you that you may not be, uh, you not may not be recognizing. So again, this could be a proposal, but it could be you in self doubt, or it could be you having new life. But it's gonna take for you to see and recognize your insecurities and also you know uh building a new foundation but you have to be liberated in order to do that all of the cards fly out like that two of wands is at the bottom of the deck are you prepared to make a decision that may change the course of your life that's the new life so that <laughs> yeah the cards come out the way they're supposed to but the ten of cups is here so the four of cups came out kind of unsure um you know but here it is when it comes to what it is that you have going on or the questions you have to ask yourself are you going to be bitter about this situation? Are you going to be angry about the situation? Or are you realizing that you're disconnected from this? Or and you reach this plateau and you're bored? Or, yeah, 
Are you optimistic about the situation? Are you really ready to revisit the intense uh, intensity of this by you starting over and the Page of Cups energy? What situation in your life is bringing out some type of opportunity? Again, you have to ask yourself, Three of Pentacles comes out twice. Three years it took for you to build a foundation for yourself. Each pinnacle is equivalent to a year, so you're you're liberated and you're setting yourself free, but it took you three years to get to this point of when you're ready to revisit certain situations that you walked on from or you moved on from. And so the three years, this could be six years. Um, it says who in your life is asking you to be open to cooperation. So this could be the marriage in the fall. This could be you doing and changing and just even thinking about rekindling six of pentacles you've given to the situation six of pentacles is given to the situation wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself so six years remember i just said three and three equals six so this could be you've been dealing with this person for six years or it could be 12 you know three plus three plus six is 12 um but the thing is is that being optimistic about this situation what situation in your life do you feel is secretly being hidden from you and it could be that back here, the bad advice was there. You know, the bad advice was there, but the Ten of Cups is what our end all goal is. It says, what situation in your life is bringing forth completion and total happiness? If you realize what this is causing, are you able to let the past go in order to move forward? And that's where it's talking about, are you prepared to make a decision that may change the course of your life? And again, the self-doubt, is a part of are you going to be able to make this decision and let go of it in order to build a new foundation so i guess that's what you need to ask yourself let me pull from what is this tarot deck called um the cozy witch tarot deck all right this is a i just sorry my allergies is bothering me three of cups look at that come together with your coven so this could be some type of energy of you coming together with somebody that you've been apart from. And then at the bottom of the deck is Seven of Swords. Yeah, your insecurities come out twice. It says, are your actions really as, self as selfless as you think? Are your actions really as selfless as you think? So are your insecurities about certain, you know, energies of the intensity, the rekindling, um, or is it about certain other situations? Is it about you? At the bottom of the at the bottom of the deck of here, not really honoring yourself, and now you're upset that you allowed certain situations to control you, you know, to control you by you. Where's it at? Here, hold on. By you being cool with whatever. You see what I mean? So there you go. You have those questions that you can ask yourself. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the four agreements, which I'll go ahead and link up at the top if you want to really learn and understand my perspective of the four agreements or my interpretation of the four agreements. Um, and also um, the chakras with the crystal deck. I'll, again, I'll put it up above. But it is be impeccable with your words and be impeccable with your words. Again, not being cool with whatever, right? So it says replace fear with love. So that's what you're learning to let go of is the fear. It says the, the human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continuously being planted. When you are impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. So again, when I tell you guys to send strength and healing to a person, place, thing, or a situation, that's the reason why you have to let go. You have to let go and not put anything behind that. And that's a part of our insecurities because we will say, okay, yeah, I send strength and healing. But you know that person did that. You can't let, you got to be able to let it go totally. And so that is where the, it comes from letting go of the insecurities in order to build a foundation for yourself and also for your future, if that makes sense. So being optimistic and understanding that at the end goal is the Ten of Cups. But if you're impeccable with your words, say what you want, mean what you say. You know, it says, realize the power of your word again. again. Say what you want, mean what you say, but it says your word uh, is the power that you have to create the gift that comes directly from God. Again, your word is the power that you have to create the gift to uh, you have to create. It's a gift that comes directly from God. So not being down with whatever and knowing that you have the power to have whatever you want 
but uh, it's you understanding and letting go of selenite. I got selenite there. I got it there. I got it back there. I have it all around my house. And I always give it away as a gift to people that um, I meet if I have it in my purse. Uh, normally, it's in my, in my purse or somewhere. But the crown chakra, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the crown chakra, and you need to understand your chakras because understanding your chakras will get you to understand where you are and why, how you feel the way you do. So, again, click up at the link above. Spiritual connections, the ascension, right? Highest vibration, and then consciousness. And it says, I am one with myself, and myself, the earth, and the universe. I am one with myself, the earth, and the universe. And the healing light will come from the sun. That's where the growth is. Spending time in nature. Where's the other one at? And spending time alone while you're doing it and not worrying about the opinions of others. So there you have it. Let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. Hey, I love you guys.